built with him last year? And then also just kind of what do you feel like because you have a new coach, um, new, new staff, what do you feel like will be done differently this year? Uh, you know, uh, hearing hear, uh, everything about Doc, you know, it was tough. Uh, you know, uh, Doc was a great coach, great person. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot from him. And, uh, you know, first time really playing playoff basketball under Doc. And, uh, you know, those are the moments you'll never forget. And, uh, you know, all the all the stuff you learn and experience during those playoffs, uh, you know, you don't, you don't forget that. And, uh, you know, it was definitely tough, you know, didn't expect it. But, uh, you know, I think uh, Ty, Ty is going to be great for us. You know, he was around last year. You know, he knows the group we have. He knows us, you know, we you know, it's, uh, well, I don't know much. We didn't, you know, we didn't practice yet. So it's, uh, I don't know how, how much of a difference is going to be. And, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll, we'll see as, a uh, as we progress, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy where we at. I'm happy uh, with our new coaching staff and, uh, I think we're going to have a great year. Thanks, Zoom. Okay, next question is going to, next question is going to come from home. Hey, Zoo, welcome back. Um, hey. I was wondering, um, what was your perspective or maybe what you thought was missing or what went wrong with the team in the playoffs when you look back on things, the little playoffs and how things ended? And what have you guys talked about, maybe even on the group chat or when you've seen other guys in workouts about um, kind of what happened last season and moving forward from that? You know, we... There was a, I mean, a lot of stuff, you know. We we just didn't have it, man. Uh, we didn't have it at the at the wrong time. Uh, we we, I think game seven, you know, even game five, game six, game seven, we we started them out right, you know, played played three quarters right, but uh, you know, we just at the end of the day, it's a, you know, it's a make or miss league, and we just. I think we just didn't make shots at the, when we needed to, and that's that's what was, uh, what caused us a uh, serious and uh, you know. But uh, all that is behind us. You know, it was a it was a strange year. You know, learned a lot. It was a it was a lot different than uh, any other uh, season I played in, and uh, you know, it was a it was a different experience, and I think everyone learned from that. Uh, you know, everyone know each other better better now and uh, I think uh, I think uh, this year is going to be much more successful next year, than next year than uh, I think this year than uh, past year my bad thank you okay we're gonna move over to Miriam hey there Zoo. good to see you welcome back to work uh, <laughs> so yeah so you, you mentioned that you, you guys learned a lot last year so w what are some of the specific things that you kind of personally took out of that experience going forward and then and also just um what did workouts look like today in, in light of sort of all the covid protocols that are going on mm -hmm. uh, personally i i mean i don't have much uh, playoff experience you know and uh, especially i never played a uh, playoff series against a uh, big as uh, Nikola, uh, Nikola Jokic and, uh, you know, he's one of the great bigs in this league and, uh, you know, the, it was a tough matchup for everyone and uh, especially, you know, especially against him and, uh, you know, you, you definitely learn a lot going through, uh, you know, seven games against the same person. It's much different than a than a regular season so you know the, there was a the, there was a lot of stuff I learned and uh, that I'm gonna use moving forward and uh, we we definitely uh, found out a lot about each other in, in, a, in a in a bubble and uh, I mean that's that's definitely gonna help us moving forward and uh, that experience was good for us even though you know it didn't end up well, it didn't end up how we wanted it. Uh, that uh, I think that uh, experience is going to be a necessary moving forward. And uh, today, today was a uh, you know it didn't feel like a uh, training camp is starting because it's a uh, mostly individual workouts. You know, you only got four players in at uh, each. Uh, you know, the, there's a schedule that can there can only be four players uh, at a facility at the same time. So 
it's uh it's definitely different uh different than our past uh training camps but uh you know that's 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 how it is and we got to use most of it okay we're gonna move over to to Amir. hey zug welcome back good to see you appreciate it Bit of a two-parter here for you. Uh, first, given that it was your first playoff series and you saw a significant uptick in your minutes, can, can a series like that, regardless of the outcome, still be beneficial for you uh, and the team? And then second, just your thoughts on the additions of uh, Luke Kennard and, and Serge Ibaka uh, and, and Nick Batum. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, it was definitely, you know, helpful. Uh, every every experience is a, you know, good experience. And, uh uh, for, uh, you know, learning and moving forward. And I think uh, I needed that. I need, uh, I'm going to need it. Uh, you know, we're still, we're still one of the best teams in the league. We're, we're still going to compete for a championship this year. And uh, I think, uh, I mean, I know we're going to, I'm going to need that experience. Uh, that team is going to, uh, team is going to need that experience and team is going to need me. And, uh, you know, I think it was definitely helpful, helpful for me, even though we, uh, you know, it didn't end up how we wanted. And uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it was different, but uh, it was an experience I, I'll never forget, and uh, also an experience I learned a lot from. And uh, our new additions, I think, I think it's great, and I think, uh, you know, I think uh, we improved this uh, off season. Uh, we feel the, you know, we got the guys who, who. Who fit our fit our fit our team really good, and uh, you know I can't wait. I can't wait to step on the court with them. Okay, we'll move over to Thomas. Hey, Zoo, how you doing? I'm good. Thank um, you. Kind of get your thoughts on what you think. Um, you know, kind of for you for this season, your biggest goal is for this season um, moving forward. You know, kind of versus what your goal was last season. I mean, my goal stays the same. I want to, you know, I want to win. I want to help this team win. And, uh, you know, whatever, whatever it takes, whatever it takes to win, uh, I'll do it. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really care about, uh, you know, personal stuff and uh, individual stuff. I, I just want to, uh, you know, our team to win. And uh, that's how, how it was last season. I, I really didn't care, you know. About me, uh, what am what am I individually gonna accomplish? I I, I just want my team to win, and uh, I'm I'm you know I'm willing to give my best, uh, do whatever it takes, and uh, help my team win. Okay, we'll move over to Cameron. Hey, Zoo, uh, welcome back, big guy. Appreciate that. Um, I got a two part question for you. Um, what did you do specifically in this shortened off season to kind of improve your game? Uh, I had uh, I had more uh, off of uh, off season uh, uh, in be before bubble than uh, after the bubble, but uh, <laughs> but uh, you know I just continued doing everything uh, you know everything I did before, everything I do I want to take to the next level, and uh, you know it just really worked on everything, worked on my body, worked on. Uh, Worked uh, on a lot of aspects of my game, uh, you know, finishing, uh, catching the ball, uh, shooting the ball from outside. So, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever I did last year, uh, I just want to take it to, to, to another uh, better level. Okay, Zoo. And as you know, the bubble was strange for everybody. The, the season finished strange for everybody. Mm -hmm. But why do you feel the team collectively mm – -hmm didn't maintain your sense of urgency going through the bubble on the way through out throughout the playoffs oh uh, man i i don't think uh, i just think like i said earlier you know i don't feel like there was a we just we just didn't make shots when it, when it was needed to i feel like you know we were playing you know people are acting like we lost four zero you know we went to seven game series we won we won first, uh, you know, uh, three out of four. We 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 play good enough, but like at the end of the day, we just couldn't make shots when uh when uh when uh when when it mattered, and uh, that's 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 really what it was, I think. Okay, we'll move over to Farbot. Hey, Zoo, welcome back. Um, 
What's what's the mood of the team like entering this season? Is there kind of an even bigger chip on the shoulder than there ever was before, given what happened last season? For sure. Uh, I think, uh, you know, this year we were coming in, everyone, people don't even, uh, you know, some people don't even put us in a conversation about contending for a championship. And uh, that's, uh, we like that. We like uh, all that negative talks and everything that's around us, you know, we, we, we like that challenge. We, we want to prove, you know, we want to prove that we're that team that we can do it. And uh, I think that's going to be the move whole, whole season. And uh, guys are, guys are ready. Guys been working out uh, since, you know, since we, since we are out of, out of the bubble and uh, guys are as motivated as ever. And, uh, you know, we're ready to work. We're ready, we're, we're ready to step out on the court and uh, compete. Okay, we're going to move over to Kurt. What's going on, Zoo? Good to see you. Sure. Um, the team acquired Luke Kennard. What, uh, what are your impressions of him? Um, and what have you seen from him during his time in the league? Mm. Uh, man, uh, you don't, you, you know, you don't really know a player until you play with him. And, uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm just finding out some stuff, and uh, it's uh, you know, it's hard when he's on a you know East Coast team, and uh, you only play him two times a year. It's hard to follow, but uh, you know, I see a, I see a great dude that's gonna fit a, fit our team perfect. Uh, you know, he can shoot it, he can handle the ball, he can uh, run pick and roll action. High IQ basketball player. I think uh, you know he's a great addition for us. Uh, uh, we needed a. You know, we, we need uh, ball handlers, and uh, I think I think he's a uh, he's really going to be great for us. Okay, we have time for a few more questions. We're going to go to uh, Nick Hamilton. Hey, Zoo, uh, welcome back. Sure. Wanted to get your thoughts. I know you talked earlier about uh, the transition from going from Doc Rivers to. Uh, Tyron Lou, obviously you guys have familiarity, but what do you, how much do you think the culture will change uh, when you have Ty Lou now as head coach versus having him as an assistant? I mean, uh, you know, uh, we already, you know, we got our stuff uh, pretty much set up. Uh, you know, we, we know, we know who we are. We know uh, what we got to do. Uh, Ty was already here last year. You know, I think, uh, you know, this year we're just we're just gonna play much harder because you know we got something pr to prove. We got that chip on our shoulder, and uh, you know everyone's. We're just ready to work, man. It, it, uh, that's that's what it really is. We're ready to you know prove everyone everyone wrong and uh, just go out there and prove we're the best team in the league. Okay, and we're gonna move over to Charlie. Welcome back, Zoo. Um, so getting to know Ty last year, um, how would you describe him as a coach, his style? And, and given this crazy offseason with, you know, no time and, and some new roster changes, how do you see that style helping you guys get through and, and get into the season? Uh, I think, uh, you know, I think Ty's going to be great for us. I think, uh, you know, uh, I think he's a perfect coach for us. I think he knows the guys, he knows everyone, he knows what we, you know, uh, he already saw uh, past year what uh, what guys like, what they're comfortable at, and uh, what guys don't like. And uh, you know, he's. Uh, I think he's gonna he's gonna put it all together perfectly, and uh, that off that our offense is gonna, you know, we're gonna move, move the ball much uh, much uh, more, and uh, I think we're gonna run more and. Uh, I think he's gonna, you know, uh, use use the strengths strengths uh, from each guy uh, guys much more, and uh, you know, just I think it's a perfect fit for us. A guy who knows us, guys, guy who works hard as we do, and uh, I think uh, I think it's gonna be a great year. All right, thanks, Zoom. That's all I have for you. Thank you. All right.